Hello, Bunsen Cults, my name is Hotzel C and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Uh, certainly Beltless, but not Railless. Uh, last time we put in here uh, an iron smelter, but more importantly a steel smelter, where we are gathering uh, steel. And just before hitting the record button, I was looking at our production, or more precisely, production of electronic circuits um, for the one hour mark. And there you can see we are now higher than ever before in the last hour. And even in the last 10 hours. Yeah, now that we have the last tick in, we have reached a new high for the last 10 hours. And I think that might have to do with the uh, uh, adjusted train orders, where we say uh, don't necessarily uh, wait at the station until you're unloaded, especially a second one. Um, but wait just a certain amount and then go ahead, refill and come back. So that basically we have more trains uh, flowing around, delivering uh, items and uh, not uh, trains sitting at stations uh, trying to unload stations. Here we have an example. This one um, had already a good amount of steel loaded. You can see uh, has also some electronic circuits, has some uh, gears. Uh, and we have here on the unloading station, we have the time condition of 30 seconds. Maybe it should be a bit higher. Uh, we will see, but I guess once we can switch to uh, stack inserters, uh, the unloading time becomes less of an issue. Uh, last time we also finished all our research that we can do with uh, red and green only. So now we have to work our way up to military science and uh, chemical science. Um, military is, I think, a bit easier. Um, however, that said, we already have the sulfur set up. Um, red circuits, that's, that's probably... A whole other beast. So I'm thinking today we could work our way towards military science and for that we need a stone smelter uh, and for a stone smelter we actually need to have a stone patch in our system. This one starter patch we will not touch that one we are producing landfill from there, which we will use to fill this lake in so we can have a second waiting station up there, which we will probably need to do because all five stations down here are assigned to um, a certain producing platform. So, we will need that as well and then I think we shall just expand the grid up here um, where we then have two nicely sized iron patch uh, stone patches and we can have the stone smelter we can have it here and if we then have still time left, we can see about the grenades. And then the third ingredients are the piercing armor grenade, 
where we need copper that we have and steel that we now also have and the yellow ones which only need uh, iron so that will be a whole production chain for the military science but let's first start with expanding our train network up to the to the stone patch the stone patch is in and we are already producing and down here let me turn this off i also filled in part of the lake to uh, accommodate the waiting bay and i think we will keep uh part of the bay open so we can have this as a water source for our pumps which would indicate that uh, our power production will be somewhere in this area uh, speaking of power currently we are looking good but um once we hook up more things to the net uh, that will probably not be enough so that's probably something we have to consider at some point but now let's drive down and uh, figure out how and where we uh, can place our uh, our stone smelting array um, I was thinking we have steel here And apparently a deadlock. Um, we have steel here, so we can have uh, the stone smelting up here and do it like the iron smelting. That should give us um, more stone than we actually need. So let's copy that insert it here and then i only need to uh, place it um, once i have sorted this train out so let's move that train up here Get out and send it on its way. Okay, next step is putting in this blueprint, setting it up for stone smelting and setting up a train complete with, uh, with waiting bay, of course. So I will do that uh, real quick. Well, for me, it won't be that quick, uh, but uh, for you, it's just a few seconds. And a few seconds later, we have our first stone train coming in from the waiting bay in to the unloading station where we are smelting stone. And if everything is set up correctly, once we have enough stone, uh, we should also then enable these stations. So, what's next on the list? Um, I mean, goal is military science, so uh, we could go with uh, the stone that we have just set up and create the walls walls are just uh, made out of uh, stone bricks so that should not be that difficult 
and uh, maybe we can do the stone production back here um, as it is uh, one input one output uh, station uh, that should be fairly easy uh, to build uh, at least we do have already some stations uh, that work in that manner so i think i will hop over here clear out this area and place a wall production here and a few more seconds later the first stain drone is loading here and this is the one which will go to this new station back there um, where we will produce uh, the walls and by the looks of it they should come in this one should be disabled this one should be disabled this one should be disabled and this one should be disabled this one wire here and here and let's copy that over oh so we connect that this one is disabled as well so we have sorted out the stone to stone bricks to walls so one third for military signs the next one the next easy one is are the grenades two input one output material and uh, the thing here is it's not in even amounts we need a double amount of uh, of coal and then uh, um, um, I mean two third coal one third iron plate and I have the slight feeling that iron uh, there we are a bit lacking we have only one iron ore train unloading mm, that is because we also have uh, uh, the iron ore unloading at steel so question is we have one loading here maybe we need another iron ore train because we seem to have enough iron ore sitting there we do not have a waiting station for uh, the iron ore but that should be okay because if there is no station free uh, then the trains would just wait at the last station before unless uh, last station before is the train fueling station and uh, that's probably not a good place to wait so let me grab materials for another train and then maybe we can set up the uh, order a, a bit differently so that we go to the fueling station 
after we loaded the ore before we go to the waiting station and then to the smeltery. That should work. And to finish off this episode, we have grenade production, or at least a setup for it. Well, it apparently is not yet completely done. Uh, some inserts missing. Um, some filters wrongly set. Up there, they are correct. Um, we do have everything set up. We also have a train, cargo wagon with filters, so we only load 1000 coal in it, 500 iron plates. Um, and then here for the unloading, we have conditions on the filter inserter, so we only unload half the amount on the first stop um, and the rest then on the second stop. Schedule looks like uh, this. We go to the coal field refueling, then we see if there is an empty uh, pickup station for iron plates where we load the remaining uh, items onto the train, both times with uh, the item count condition because uh, the train will not get full. And then on the unloading, for the grenade production. Uh, we also have an item count condition on the coal this time because coal is uh, in larger quantity needed. So to unload uh, that amount, coal will take longer. So we have to, to have the condition on that one. And uh, the iron plates will be finished already sooner. And then on the second station, hopefully uh, we empty the cargo completely. Um, if not, we have the time condition uh, as already on uh, other trains as well. So hopefully by the start of the next episode, we will see um, some uh, grenades being produced um, and if all the inserters are placed they can also be shipped out and we can turn our attention next time to ammunition production the last item we need before we can turn our attention to military science production. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you did, please consider leaving a like. If you don't want to miss the next one, subscribe and you will get notified. Um, at least if you also click the bell there, uh, you know how that works. All right, till next time, goodbye.